Do, 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 do. We're, we're on camera yeah. right now. Happy New Year, everyone! Thank you for coming back to our channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you all had a great time during the holiday and uh, had a chance to spend good times with your family and friends safely in your own social bubbles. I'm very excited to be making this first video of 2021 regarding our Christmas vacation on Vancouver Island. Uh, we took a seven day vacation during Christmas, going from Vancouver to Nanaimo, um, and uh, from Nanaimo to Tofino, and then we stayed in a little cabin together as a family um, for three nights. And uh, from uh, Tofino, we went all the way back to Victoria for and stayed there for one day. There's one thing that's very important to mention, COVID cases are still high in BC. So um, we are taking all the precautions we can, but we understand uh, that it's not the ideal time to travel and uh, we try to limit any external contact. So in this video, I will summarize to you my recommendations and uh, my tips for planning a trip to Vancouver Island. And uh, if that's something you're interested in, keep watching. The first tip I would like to mention is that you need to figure out what pace you would like to take for the trip. Generally speaking, you have two options. First option is to drive directly to Tofino from Vancouver, which takes about um, under six hours because two hours is for the ferry and about two, uh, three to four hours for the driving from uh, Nanaimo to Tofino. And the second option you have, if you have enough time, you can also uh, take it slow, stay at one of the major cities for one or two days uh, and explore the surrounding area. Uh, for example, we stayed two days in Nanaimo exploring a small island called Gabriola Island, just outside of Nanaimo. And uh, we uh, took a look around the city as well. Uh, but this option would probably be best if you have enough time to spare on the road. Good morning, Nanaimo! The second tip I have for you is to check highway number 4 road conditions. So highway number four is the only highway that goes from the right side of the island to Trofino. And if it is under construction or it's blocked, you're screwed. So I would even go the extra mile to check it uh, a week ahead of time, the day before, even before you uh, start driving. So uh, that's very important. And if you're traveling during winter, you must have winter tire now. Um, because the, as soon as it started snowing, uh, the highway number 4 can be very slippery and dangerous. So it's required by law you have winter tire on your car. A small extra tip here is if you don't have winter tire already on your car and you don't want to install it, definitely check out rental cars. That way it's not only cost effective, you also don't need to worry about any damages on the bumpy roads. The next tip I have for you is having the right gear for your activities. Rain boots and waterproof jackets are almost always a must. Rain boots are for when you want to dip your toes um, into the sand, but you don't want to get your feet wet. And uh, also for walking around the moist rainforest on the Vancouver Island. There's also tons of other activities you can do, such as camping, hiking, etc. And uh, um, if you're going hiking and camping, of course, Bear spray is something you want to bring uh, because there's lots of bear sighting on Vancouver Island. A tip for accommodation. So if budget allows, booking close to the beach, booking close to harbor amenities are very recommended when you're on Vancouver Island, especially when you go into Trofino. Um, the beach cabin and uh, hotels are sold out so quickly, so I would recommend to book a long time in advance. Um, and uh, if you're in Nanaimo, 
um, booking close to a harbor would not only ensure a easy uh, tour around the city but also it's really close to a uh, ferry that takes you to uh, Gabriola Island uh, and uh, being in the center of everything really goes a long way so regarding the exciting things food planning Bigger cities are usually okay uh, if you want to grab groceries whenever you like but uh, um, when you're going to the smaller cities, uh, grocery shops are not that easy to find. Um, one tip about uh, your awesome trip in Tofino would be load up your car before you go into your vacation destinations in Tofino like near the beach um, because when when we were there when we needed something um, we have to drive and uh, we can only find a very tiny grocery store that has limited stuff in there one fun thing to do while you are vacationing on the beach is actually getting a fishing license and go out and pick out those mus fresh mussels off the beach and fresh oysters if you can find them and uh, cook them right on the spot that's uh, one of my favorite things to do on the beach uh, just make sure you know like watch the waves make sure you buy the license don't pick more than you need if you are on the island please 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 buy local small business on the island require every bit of help it can get and buying local would really help them get back on their feet. Wow, it's getting really dark now, isn't it? Bear with me, I have one last tip for those who have motion sickness. Motion sickness is no joke on this trip. Driving from Nanaimo to Tofino, that highway number four is super bumpy and all the roads are winding up and down. Make sure you take your pill uh, about half an hour to an hour ahead of time. Otherwise, that day will be pretty much ruined for you. Okay, as a first timer to Tofino and uh, Vancouver Island, which part of our trip did you enjoy the most? Well, I think the best thing about spending Christmas in Tofino is that we're able to stay in like a wooden cabin right beside the beach so that mm -hmm. uh, we could, uh, you know, go on the beach for walks and see the sunset, then come back and then uh, spend, uh, spend the night at the fireplace, uh, uh, very cozy, and also still look at the waves when the sun comes up. Yeah, definitely. So did anything surprise you uh, during the trip? Well, the thing that surprised me most was that on the second day we went to the, the Long Beach, and uh, the beach was so long and so wide, and uh, there's a thin sheet of water on it. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at it, uh, uh, for, into the into the horizon, it is like very reflective and blends into the 
into the sky and it's like a big mirror we were able to take a lot of silhouette shots against the sun and against the waves so, so that was very beautiful and very surprising yeah definitely mm. do we want to go back again sometime i think the better time might be go uh, when you go back, it's, uh, it's uh, during the summertime. It's, uh, yeah. it's a little bit warmer. Uh, you can do a lot more water activities in the ocean, mm -hmm. and, uh, but it's probably also more busy. So yeah. definitely book ahead. Definitely book ahead. Mm. And I want to be a surfer. What do you think? We can try. Go to that surfing school mm. uh, in that village and start surfing. Beach life. Thank you for watching today's video. We really hope you liked it, and if you did, please give a thumbs up or subscribe if you like. We would really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great 2021 ahead. We will see you guys in our next one. Bye!